Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Caroline. It is currently like day 45 of quarantine and I wanted to share all the items I have been influenced to buy from mainly YouTubers, just influencers in general. I am easy to sway. I am easy, easily influenced. I'm weak is what I'm basically trying to say. So I'm gonna go through all the items and who influenced me to buy them and tell you guys if they are worth it or not. So please subscribe if you haven't already and let's go ahead and get okay, started. I'm gonna start with the largest collection I have and that's eyeshadow palettes. So first I have the Supreme Nudes. It is by Angel or Mac Daddy. He has the best highlights too. I have like a little mini one and I want more. I love them so much. And this is his newest eyeshadow palette. It is beautiful. Like, I love nudes, but these, something about these colors, they're just like the right nude. Like, just the combo of everything is so beautiful. And I actually have not used it yet. I just got it in the mail in the Sephora store, but I've seen a million YouTubers use this, and the looks are so beautiful. The quality looks beautiful. I think he has such a great line. It is in Sephora, by the way. And I just am so excited. And look how sleek that packaging is. I love it. And I'm so excited to use it. So next I have two palettes by Laura Lee. So I have her original. I love this palette. So it's called Cat's Pajamas. This is a great palette. I think it's a great palette if you're starting out, you need an eyeshadow, you don't even, you've never had an eyeshadow palette before. I think that is a great start. Then, okay, I have two of these. So it's the Nudie Patootie. And this one got damaged in the mail. I did the thing where you put like the alcohol in it to like flatten it and kind of put it back together but they sent me a new palette right away and I went to grab that one I don't really use this palette as much I think it's okay but I definitely think this one I'm really happy that I next I have my Jaclyn Hill palettes so I got two of the vault palettes I never used them they were not great as I'm sure all of you guys know so they look untouched I've had them for a really long time this one is armed and gorgeous and this one is Bling Boss. I'm gonna try them out again. It's been a really long time, so I do wanna give them another try. But I remember how controversial this was and it came out that it was just like crap. I think it's okay, it's not great. Would I buy it again? No. But I'm gonna give them another try. I haven't touched them in about a year, which is saying a lot. Sorry, my camera's shaking, I have it on my bed. I need to rearrange that but I'll do that in a second then I have the original which is amazing like w again if you don't have any palettes you need something this is I think $39 which is first of all wow like this artist couture one I think was 40 which I still think is amazing but look how many shades you get and the variety and it's a great quality I actually really enjoy Morphe this is such good palette and I definitely think it's a staple for your collection Moving on to Kathleen Lights, she persuaded me to buy the So Jada palette. I love this palette. I have to be careful, the green is ooh, kind of falling apart at the bottom. I use that for like a Christmas uh, holiday party. So this is the palette, it's beautiful. I love the variety of colors. I also have her Dream Street palette, but I put it, I took like a bunch of ColourPop palettes apart and put the little magnetic sets or magnetic like single shadows into a huge Z palette. So it's in the Z palette, but I love all of her color pop clubs. I think she did a wonderful job. Next, I have two palettes by KKW. I love the color story in these. I need to dip into them more. I'd say they're pretty decent quality. Um, again, just looking at it, it's such a beautiful palette. And then I have the classic blossom one, which again, I just love these colors. I think the color stories in her palettes are so beautiful. I just, I really need to dip into these. I'm so bad about it. I did not pay full price for these I think the quality is good not great so that's why I have waited to not pay a full price for them next I have Desi and Katie's palette the authentication palette I love this so much I'm actually wearing it today I have this shade all over the lid and then I put this shimmer shade just on top of that color and then I did maybe you know I have this on the lid and that as liner so cute I love it so much I think the packaging is so sleek and so beautiful Next, I have Karuchi Times Colourpop. I don't believe you can get this anymore. I wish I had a mirror, but I love these. They're so beautiful. Again, I love the color story and the quality of Colourpop is phenomenal, especially for the price. Now, this palette is one of my favorite all-time palettes. It is Through My Eyes. I love Sari X Colourpop. So that's Karen's palette with Colourpop. It has a really nice mirror. And that purple and these two greens 
are so beautiful. I love this palette so much. I really hope you guys can still get it. It is definitely worth it. Another palette from ColourPop is Perception Shayla X ColourPop. Again, another favorite. A great mirror, same layout, and look at the colors you get. That purple is seriously so beautiful. The gold, I you, I can use any of these colors. They are so perfect. And if you're not really comfortable adding color into your makeup, I think this palette is a great way to kind of ease into it. They're very usable colors. Okay, we have a couple palettes left. So next is Jackie Ina and ABH. I literally bought this palette for that purple in the middle. I think it is the most beautiful purple. I've only used it a couple times, but I love ABH's palettes. And this performs just like every other palette. It is seriously beautiful and worth the money. I actually got this on sale. I believe it is still on sale for about $31. Then I got the Nude Medium by Huda Beauty. I am so upset. I traveled with it for Christmas and it shattered. <laughs> so I love this palette. It does kind of smell weird. Like, I actually have another palette by her. I forgot to bring it out here. It almost smells like paint thinner. Something's off, but great pigment. Love it. Love, love, love. I feel like my hair, like, I don't know what's going on. It just not cute. Like, I have a comb over. Like, I pulled it over. I had, like, a comb over going. But my last two eyeshadow palettes are, like, my OG YouTubers. Carly Bible is the first YouTuber I ever watched. I watched her for six months because I didn't know what else was going on. Like, what a huge world this was. I got her original palette, which is about half the size. And then once this came out, I gave it to my mom. Um, it no longer is sold. So these are the highlighter shades down here, the eyeshadow shades up here. When I found out they're discontinuing it, I actually bought a second one. So I have two of these and this is the one I haven't used yet. And then I have the Casey Holmes palette, which I love the face products and the lipstick and the perfume. This eyeshadow, like I do not understand what this eyeshadow combo the green just like really throws me off i've never used these eyeshadows and i don't really plan on it i just really wanted to support casey holmes and i love um physician formulas face products the highlighter is so beautiful of course the bronzer everyone loves and i'm almost out of the perfume so i think this is around 15 to 20 dollars and I feel like that was definitely worth it for the face products alone. So if you watch my videos, you know the only brushes I basically use are my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brushes. I bought them when they first came out. I just always had brushes from just random. I got them from maybe the drugstore or my mom gave me them. I just had like the weirdest collection. So just having a full brush set with this travel case is seriously a godsend. I love it so much. I don't remember, I think it's like 20 brushes, maybe more than 20 brushes it comes with. I am never reaching for other brushes. This has everything that you need and I highly recommend it. I don't know if they sell this full box anymore, but I know they sell separate sets of these. Like they have a face set and an eye set that you can get and they put them on sale sometimes on Ulta and sometimes on Morphe. Next, I'm gonna move on to skincare. So I have the Ola Henriksen Transform Plus Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. This stuff was recommended by the McKnight Twins and oh my gosh, I love this stuff. I just repurchased another one at the Sephora sale. It seriously changed my skin. It just evens out your skin tone. It gets rid of texture. I put it on morning and night. And if I'm gonna go run errands and I don't feel like putting makeup on, I actually just put this on because it just leaves such a nice, beautiful glow. And it also smells really, really good. So next I have the Bobbi Brown Face Base. You guys have probably seen this everywhere. I want to say Jeffree Star probably started it as the moisturizer and primer in one. It is $60, but this stuff lasts. Like the expiration on here is 24 months. And honestly, like I still, I've had this for about a year and I have so much left. So I definitely think it's worth the price. Um, again, you can always wait until Sephora or Bobbi Brown has a sale, but it's just so nice as a moisturizer and primer in one. And my makeup just glides beautifully on it. Like any tinted moisturizer, any foundation I've used, I've never had a problem with this as the base. Next, I have the Kiehl's Avocado Eye Treatment. This is the only under eye cream that I use, and I found it a couple years ago through Olivia Jade's channel. It's so beautiful, it is so soft, and it really just brightens your under eye. And lastly, I have the Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask. I do not remember who started this, so I'm just gonna give credit to like every YouTuber out there stuff is worth it it's amazing as you can tell this is my second one and i just i use it a couple times a week i know you can use it every single day this stuff is worth the price i've given it as gifts and people have loved it okay this is my last category it's like kind of all over the place makeup so the first one is the mac paint pot in soft okra i want to say i first heard about this from laura lee but again super popular so i use it as an eye base 
and I noticed that my mask or my makeup does not smudge my eyeshadow does not move I have hooded lids so I always have to prime my eyes and this gives you great pigment and it stays all day another eye primer I really enjoy this is from Casey Holmes recommendation is the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base and it comes on a doe foot applicator I can't decide which I like more between this and paint pot I kind of just rotate them and I'm pretty sure I like them equally um and price paint pot is a little cheaper if that matters to you guys and they do have sales like a Nordstrom I've seen of paint pot but this stuff is also really good especially if you have oily eyelids next is the elf poreless putty primer I looked for like weeks when this first came out because Jeffree Star talked about it and said how it's the identical match to the Tatcha one of the Tatcha primers like the most popular one that comes in like a little scraper thing like this too and he was not kidding this stuff is amazing I put it like around my nose just kind of on my t-zone where my pores are larger this stuff is amazing I definitely noticed a difference I think it's only like eight dollars and since this became popular they now have like four or five different types of this primer but Jeffree Star put this thing on the map and it was sold out for like over a month like I would go to Ulta and drugstores like a couple times a week looking for it and I would just be out of luck next I have the YSL Touche Eclat I don't even know it is a tinted moisturizer basically by YSL it is pricey but I love this stuff and I got the idea from SML XO or X0 I don't even know it's Stephanie Letta basically I <laughs> her screen name is from like 10 years ago when you didn't use your real name on YouTube but she loves this stuff it is one of the best tinted moisturizers I've ever used so I have my ColourPop one which I use every day because it's like $12 but this stuff is Honestly, it's a pretty good dupe, like ColourPop is a good dupe for this, but if I had to choose, I would pick this. It's just a little pricier and I only have my tan shade, <laughs> so like obviously that is not the color I am right now. Next is ABH's Amreezy Highlight. She also has a YouTube channel. This stuff is amazing. They are not selling it right now, so they sold it for a while, it went away, and then they brought it back. So like fingers crossed they're buying it, they're buying it, they're bringing it back again because I need to buy another one because this one is getting worn down. This is like my go-to number one highlight. My last two items are the Too Faced Melted Matte in Child Star. So they just revamped the formula, I believe, because this was not discontinued, but they just stopped restocking it for a long time. And then I saw Too Faced put out an Instagram post of like their new improved lipsticks and colors. And this is one of them. It is such a good nude. I would say it's such a universal nude. And I hate liquid lipsticks and I love this stuff. It stays on a really long time. And then lastly, I have the Physicians Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. I use this every day. So that is the felt tip it is such a flexible and thin felt tip I think it's kind of idiot proof when it comes to eyeliner because sometimes I feel like when the tip is just too hard that's what she said I know um it's harder to navigate but this is super easy I highly recommend it if you're a beginner to liquid eyeliner because I know that can be kind of scary using liquid eyeliner for the first okay guys that's all I have for you I'm sure I have more stuff I was influenced to buy again I am weak <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope you guys got some ideas of what purchases to make next please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye